Hi. Today we will tell you about a Turkish unmanned aerial vehicle that took active combat part in Syria, Libya and Iraq. The Bayraktar TB2. Bayraktar TB2 is a medium altitude and long range male tactical unmanned aerial vehicle UAV system manufactured by Baker Makina for the Turkish Armed Forces. Bayraktar Tactical UAV was developed by Kale Baker JV, a joint venture of Baker Makina and the Kale Group. The UAV is an ideal platform for conducting reconnaissance and intelligence missions. Phase 1 development of the prototype Bayraktar Block A began in 2007 and first flight was made in June 2009. The contract for Phase 2 development and serial production was signed between the Undersecretariat for Defense Industries SSM, and Kale Baker JV in December 2011. The second phase involving the development and serial production of Bayraktar Block B TB2, commenced in January 2012. Bayraktar TB2 completed its first flight in April 2014. The first acceptance tests of the UAV were conducted in November 2014 and six UAVs were delivered to the Turkish Land Forces by 2014. A second batch of six indigenous Bayraktar TB2 UAVs was handed over to the Turkish Land Forces in June 2015. Bayraktar TB2 features a monocoque design integrating an inverse V-tail structure. The fuselage is made of carbon fiber, Kevlar and hybrid composites, whereas the joint segments constitute precision computer numerical control CNC, machined aluminum parts. The engine is positioned between the tail booms and fuel is stored in bladder tanks. Each Bayraktar TB2 system consists of six aerial vehicles, two ground control stations GCS, three ground data terminals GDTs, two remote video terminals RVTs, and ground support equipment. The UAV has a length of 6.5 meters, wingspan of 12 meters and a maximum takeoff weight of 630 kg. The UAV is equipped with a triple redundant avionics system. An onboard avionics suite encompasses units, including microcontroller, engine control, servo motor power control, engine signal processing and I.O. and GPS receiver units. It also features a PIDIT static sensor, laser altimeter and alpha-beta sensor modules, as well as speed, temperature and fuel level sensors. Bayraktar TB2 UAV can carry a maximum payload of more than 55 kg. The standard payload configuration includes an electro-optical EO camera module, an infrared IR camera module, a laser designator, a laser range finder LRF, and a laser pointer. The redundant flight control system allows autonomous taxi, takeoff, navigation, landing and parking operations without assistance from any external sensor. Sensor fusion architecture using modern non-linear control techniques ensures good control and guidance of the UAV. The unmanned vehicle is also capable of employing semi-auto modes during missions. Bayraktar TB2 UAV is controlled by a ground control station based on a NATO spec ACE 3 mobile shelter unit. The module integrates pilot, payload operator and image exploitation consoles. The station is equipped with rack cabinets, air conditioning unit, NBC's filtration system, power supply units, wireless systems and internal communication systems. The power plant integrates a 100-horsepower internal combustion engine driving a two-bladed variable pitch propeller. The tactical UAV has a range of more than 150 kilometers and can fly at a maximum altitude of 22,500 feet 7 kilometers. It has a maximum speed of 70 knots and endurance of more than 20 hours. The UAV currently holds the national record for endurance and altitude for Turkish aviation. It set the endurance flight record when it flew for a total of 24 hours and 34 minutes at 18,000 feet 5.49 kilometers on the 5th of August 2014. The altitude record was broken on the 14th of June 2014 when it reached 27,030 feet 8 kilometers with full payload weight. Bayraktar TB2 is also the first UAV to have been exported in Turkey's history when the unarmed version was exported to Qatar in 2012. This project forms part of our recent analysis and forecasts of the Global Unmanned Aerial Vehicles UAV, market available from our business information platform Strategic Defense Intelligence. You can see the characteristics of weapons on your screen.
The aircraft features a pair of hardpoints under the wings, one per wing, that allow for the carrying of various ordnance types including anti-tank guided missiles ATGMs, as well as laser guided bombs LGBs. All this adds to the precision strike capability so sought after by today's militaries. Beyond the ability to self-designate and strike at ground targets, the series has also been used to laser-designate missile targets for Turkish Army attack helicopters like the American-made Huey Cobra. With Turkish officials acknowledging the operational level service of the Bayraktar TB2, Turkey becomes just the sixth nation in the world to field a viable unmanned aerial combat vehicle UCAV. It joined the United States, China, Pakistan, Israel and Iran in the field. These platforms offer considerable advantages when compared to their unmanned aerial vehicle UAV, brethren, least of these being an armed ability to seek out and destroy ground elements with precision strikes without exposing human airmen or their very expensive flying machines to danger. Now we will talk about the main confirmed combat missions of Bayraktar TB2 in Syria. In June 2019, international news media reported that the Libyan government of National Accord used Bayraktar to strike an airbase held by General Haftar's Libyan National Army. Despite the UN embargo on Libya's ongoing civil war, it is suspected that at least three Bayraktar TB2 UCAV are being used over Tripoli by the UN-recognized government. The LNA General Haftar's forces, on the other hand, claim to have destroyed one UAV in Mitiga airport. Video evidence shows at least one Bayraktar TB2 flying over Tripoli about to land at Mitiga's military section, under control of GNA allied forces. Turkish TB2s have continued to see wide-scale use in western Libya, targeting LNA fighters. The LNA routinely reports downing of Turkish drones, claiming to shoot down six in one week. In December 2019, the LNA claimed to have shot down two Turkish TB2 UAVs in Ain Zara near Tripoli. On March 31, 2020, Libyan National Army shot down another Turkish Bayraktar TB2 combat drone near the Libyan city of Tripoli. On 5 April 2020 an Antonov and 26 transport plane was destroyed in an attack on an airstrip near Tarhuna, Libya. Forces of Libya's UN-recognized Government of National Accord GNA, reported that it had shot an Antonov cargo plane carrying ammunition for Libyan National Army LNA, militias. LNA confirmed the attack but stated that the aircraft carried medical supplies. It is unknown if there were any fatalities from the attack. Unconfirmed reports suggest the aircraft was hit by fire from a Bayraktar TB2 drone. According to Lost Armor, a website that tracks aircraft and armor losses based in photographic evidence, at least 14 terabytes twos are confirmed as destroyed as of May 15, 2020. On May 13, 2020, Clash Report released footage of multiple LNA vehicles getting destroyed by Government of National Accord operated Bayraktar TB2. On May 14, 2020, Clash Report released footage of LNA multiple launch rocket system getting destroyed by GNA artillery after being tracked by GNA operated Bayraktar TB2. May 15, 2020, Clash Report released footage of LNA vehicle getting destroyed by GNA operated Bayraktar TB2 with MAM. May 15, 2020, Clash Report released footage of LNA multiple launch rocket system getting destroyed by GNA operated Bayraktar TB2 with MAM. May 18, 2020, Clash Report released footage of LNA operated Panzer S1, SA-22, being destroyed by GNA operated Bayraktar TB2 with MAM in South Sirta, Libya. May 18, 2020, Clash Report released footage of LNA-operated Russian Krasika EU system being destroyed by GNA-operated Bayraktar TB2 with MAM. May 20, 2020, Clash Report released footage of LNA-operated Panzer S1 SA-22 being destroyed by GNA-operated Bayraktar TB2 with MAM while its tracking radar was active. May 20, 2020, GNA released footage of LNA-operated Panzer S1 SA-22 being destroyed by GNA-operated Bayraktar TB2 with MAM. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Write in the comments what you think about the effectiveness of using Turkish combat drones in Syria. Subscribe to our channel and you will not miss new videos about the history of weapons.